February 26th, St. Alexander of Alexandria. St. Alexander was made Patriarch of Alexandria in the year 313. He was a disciple of the Patriarch of Alexandria, St. Peter the Martyr, and had heard the warnings the great bishop made in prison about the deacon Arius. St. Alexander led an untiring battle against this heretic, preparing the way for St. Athanasius. Arius was teaching the heresy that not only was Christ not truly God, but also that the Son was a creature, that there was a time when he did not exist, and that he was capable of sinning. Arius was a tall man of grave imposition and appearance. He attracted confidence by his amiable manner and his agreeable conversation. He lived austerely, assumed a penitential air, and showed an apparent zeal for religion. However, under this exterior show of virtue was a man of melancholy, turbulence, ambition, and taste for novelties. After he was ordained a priest and charged with teaching scripture, he could not contain his vanity and titled himself illustrious. After the death of Achilles, bishop of Alexandria, Arius aspired to his see. When St. Alexander was chosen for it, Arius became his enemy. It was about this time that Arius began to teach his bad doctrine and recruit followers. St. Alexander, concerned about the spreading of this heresy and finding Arius obstinate and incorrigible, excommunicated him from the Diocese of Alexandria. The heretic went to Palestine, where he received the support of various bishops. There he began a campaign of intrigues against his adversaries. The Council of Nicaea in the year 325 condemned Arius and his doctrines. In that famous assembly of bishops, one of the high luminaries was St. Alexander. St. Athanasius, who had accompanied St. Alexander, was also present as his deacon. St. Alexander returned to Alexandria, where he died several years later, after naming St. Athanasius as his successor. Having dedicated his life to gloriously fighting in defense of the church, he delivered his soul to the Lord in the year 328.